Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. It's a bit late right now. It's the week of Black Friday, but I'm gonna be going out to the stores anyway just to take a look at some of the new re new releases that came out today. But one of the things that came out today was the Hitman's Bodyguard on 4K and Blu-ray, which I'll have a review of at the end of this video here. Stay tuned for that. But the other one that came out today that I kind of want to get, but I don't know if it's going to be on sale on Black Friday or not in a day or two, is Birth of a Dragon, which you guys know I love my martial art movies and stuff. But that's one of the one one of the movies I want to you know, get up on today, if there's a good deal out there to be had. But come along with me, guys. Let's go out there and see what kind of cool stuff I can find today. Okay, guys, before I go out hoarding up today, I have a little gift to give to my little homie Ethan right here. Ethan right here is eating his dinner, drinking his juice, being a good boy. Do you want to see what I got today, Ethan? You know, we got it. We got this from Universal. Yeah. You like yeah, this? Yeah. Remember this one? Man. What'd you say? Man. You like the Minions? Man. We got Despicable Me 3 here on 4K and Blu-ray, uh, so me and Ethan can watch together here. This one has some new mini movies on it, Ethan, with the Minions on it. You like the Minions, huh? Are you a cap? Are you a are you a pirate today? Okay, Ethan. I'll see you later, buddy. Okay, we'll watch we'll watch this in a day or two. Okay, when I get when I get home. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later too, Princess Aria. All right, everyone. At my first location of the day, the Valley of the Hope Thrift Store. Let's head on in and see if they have any cool new media. All right, everyone. Just got into the thrift store here, and the first thing that stood out to me next to the movie section was this WWE toy called the uh, Thumbers or something like that. It has like a uh, Ryback and uh, Big Show in it. I think you stick your thumbs in them and you fight. It has like the SmackDown logo on it. That's kind of kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But I'm just looking at some of the DVDs that they have here. Hopefully, they have some Blu-rays. They're closing in a couple minutes here. Some Scooby-Doo stuff and. Eight Crazy Nights here on DVD, which I think is now out on Blu-ray. Uh, if you guys go to like uh, Amazon, I think it's like Burn On Demand Blu-ray or something like that from like Sony. I think that's the only way you can get that on Blu-ray from what I'm not mistaken. But it's kind of looking through here, kind of rushed because they're, like I said, they're going to be closing the, closing down in just a moment or two. Guys, I just came across a DVD in here that I don't normally see in thrift stores that often. And it's pretty cool. I, I have it already. And I hope it, hopefully it gets a Blu-ray release uh, sometime down the road. That is Jackie Chan's Mr. Nice Guy. It comes in an old school snapper case. This is also one of my favorite uh, Jackie Chan movies when, you know, when I first started getting into his movies that you know just really got me excited about watching his stuff like this one rumble in the bronx of course and then like later later got into his hong kong stuff you know what i mean like mass you know uh it was called uh, shallow wooden men and drunken master and stuff but i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of here before that you know they kick me out of here out of the hope of the valley thrift store only you know perused the section just for a short period of time uh kind of i was kind of rushed in there i didn't want to keep them but i also didn't really see uh much of anything in there over at my next destination of the day the local walmart and see if there's any like you know good deals going on and keep in mind i'm not gonna be going to best buy in this video today i'm gonna save that and savor the moment for Black Friday. Well guys, in Walmart right now, taking a look at some of the new ones. They have a big display uh, for Valerian, City of a Thousand Planets, and Hitman's Bodyguard uh, over here on Blu-ray and 4K and everything like that. Um, I'll have a review of this one at the end of this video right here, the 4K edition. Uh, I thought it was, you know, kind of decent for what it was. And this one right here, I talked about in uh, last week's Hoarding Up video. If you want to go back and, you know, check out my, re my review on that one at the end of the, you know, last week's Hoarding Up one, definitely check that one out. But let's go see what other new new releases came out today well guys another one that came out today was called leap here on blu-ray some weird little animated movie never never didn't really hear much about this one to be honest but another one uh, that I'm look, really looking forward to checking out, which is inspired by uh, true events and stuff, like the man who trained Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee and stuff like that. I think it's some, something to do with that. I haven't seen uh, the movie yet, but this is something I'm down to check out because you guys know I'm into you know martial art movies. Sorry about the camera going in and out of focus. And some other movie called uh, Villainesses or something like that. I'm not sure what that one is. Let me know down below if you guys do. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for Walmart. There's not really a whole bunch of stuff that came out today, you know, that's worth talking about or anything like that. I'm still debating on if I'm going to get Birth of a Dragon or not here on Blu-ray. There's no 4K release of the film, but, like, the only reason I'm debating on it is, uh, is it going to be on sale in two days? I don't know. Well, guys, at a Walmart right now, I decided not to get uh, Birth of a Dragon and wait to see what happens on Black Friday. Because if it's not on sale on Black Friday, 
Shit, I might just get it then anyway. Well guys, at my next destination of the day, DVDs, videos, CDs, LPs, where could I be at? Oh, Amoeba Records, baby. Let's head on in there and uh, see what they got going on. Hey guys, in Amoeba right now, and I came across some of these new things that they have in here. They have like a collection of pins. Over here, like Chucky and uh, you know the characters from uh, Rugrats right here, but one of them's as Freddy, and uh, you know uh, the other ones as like Jason or something with a knife and stuff, and a lot of cool other like different little pins like Wu Tang uh, pins, Cheech and Chong stuff. This is actually kind of cool, ten dollars a pin. All right, I'm in the cult section right now, and I came across this DVD triple feature set that I've never seen before. Well, I've seen the movies that are in it, for the exception of one in the middle, uh, Heather's, The Boys Next Door, and Tough Turf. I, I could have I could have sworn that the <clears throat> the bottom one tough turf was an out of print movie. This is going for 13 bucks over here. This is actually looks kind of interesting with Charlie Sheen and uh, I don't know, man. Have you guys seen that one in the middle though? Let me know. Now I'm in the stand up comedy section that they have over here, and I came across this set that I've never seen before. That looks really cool. Sam Kennison, the definitive comedy collection. Like I think it's pretty much all his stand up stuff. Uh, from 93, uh, you know, all the way up to 1992 when he passed away, like all his stand-up specials and plus three CDs, $75 though, but that is cool, that's a cool looking set, been a big fan of his for a long time. Uh, I was upstairs in the movie section for a while now, uh, I found a handful of things I may get, if they're, you know, if they're not all scratched or anything like that, but there's still all this other store down below with CDs, movie soundtracks and things, so... I'm gonna go see if I can find some cool movie soundtracks. All right, now looking at the movie soundtrack, seeing you know what kind of you know cool ones I can find or anything like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Pee Wee Pee Wee goes to school. Right here, the soundtrack. That's pretty dope. Pee Wee's you know Big Top Pee Wee uh, soundtracks. But I saw this thing over here, which I've never seen the soundtrack for. I didn't even know they made a soundtrack to this. It's an out of print CD, and it's, it's a kind of a really hard movie to find. And I believe it kind of recently got released on Blu-ray, if I'm not mistaken, but in a different country, or maybe in America by, uh, what was, I forgot what company it was now, Kino or something, but this is kind of a cool soundtrack to see, it has like a cracked in the case and everything, but it's an out of print soundtrack, it's a, you know, no retreat, no surrender, damn, that, that's pretty cool, man, this is pretty cool. And also, Amoeba carries a lot of these weird limited edition soundtracks, like, you, can, you know, they the say limited edition, I think they only, like, have a, a little small pressing of them, like the Page Master one right here, and of course, Pet Cemetery, the original one, you know, with a limited, limited edition release kind of thing on here, this is kind of cool. You know, because you don't see these things just anywhere. But check this out. They have limited edition of uh, Star, Star Trek uh, soundtracks over here for like 50 bucks, 25 bucks, and all that kind of stuff. It gets, it gets kind of ridiculous with some of the prices that they have. Like the They Live soundtracks, $35. Thumbelina soundtrack is 30 What? And they have the Tape Heads one. That, that one was actually kind of cool. I remember that movie. Just got out of Amoeba now. Uh, I got a big old bag of uh, goodness here, and I finally spent that $100 credit that I got like months and months ago. Do I need some of the stuff that's in here? Probably not. Did I get it for the hell of it? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a fucking hoarder. Follow the yellow brick road. Aww. Well, I'm at my next destination of the day, the local Target. Let's head up in there and see if they have anything cool. All right, everyone, let's take a look and see what Target has to offer us today. It doesn't look like they have any exclusives or anything for the Hitman's Bodyguard. I believe Best Buy may have may have had one today, but of course, I you know, just not, not getting there today. One, I want to savor the flavor for Black Friday. Two, I didn't think I was going to make it there in time, to be honest. But uh, yeah, they have that one. Of course, uh, Birth of a Dragon uh, on Blu-ray. It's 20 bucks over here, so hopefully it's a bit cheaper in a day or two. You don't know. And this one also came out with Daniel Rad cliff called ju the or jungle i'm not sure exactly what this one is it says it's based on true events a lot of movies say that these days but daniel radcliffe is cool of course from the harry potter movies and stuff but let me know down below if this one is uh you know worth watching and of course uh the it's called valerian and the you know city of the thousand planets all right guys i came across something a little weird not weird but just something out of the ordinary that you don't really see in stores that much these days at least i don't and that is a cassette walkman like who do, it's like 15 bucks, but do people actually still buy these and buy cassettes? I know people can still get cassettes out there, like they do VHS's, but in stores? A cassette Walkman? What? 
Well guys, that's about it for Target. Not a whole lot to show and talk about this week in today's video. But uh, let's go on home and show you guys what I hoarded up on over there at Amoeba Records. All right everyone, back home now. About to show you guys what I picked up out there in my hoarding adventure at Amoeba Records today. I got a handful of good things, or I think they're kind of cool things. Uh, Cause you guys all know I had a hundred dollar credit for the longest time and I'm like, I finally spent it. It was just sitting in my wallet for all this time. I'm about to show you guys what I picked up here. Uh, I picked up a handful of CDs and some DVDs and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the CDs first. Uh, the first one up over here is the new Weezer album. Uh, Weezer, uh, what's it called, Pacific uh, Daydream, uh, which is their, their newest album. I've been a big fan of Weezer for a long time. I've, I think I have all their albums already, but this is their, their newest one. And I'm just like, eh, might as well get it right there. And uh, the other one I got was a soundtrack. The rest of them are soundtracks, actually. And uh, one of them is called uh, This Is Us. Uh, this is a soundtrack to one of my favorite uh, current TV shows that's on right now. I love the music uh, to, to the whole show, and I love the show in general. So I'm like, I'll get up on the soundtrack. I had to get up on there. I believe that one was like the most expensive soundtrack. It was like 10 bucks. And, of course, I got a About a Boy uh, soundtrack right here. I don't know. I, I like, you know, light music kind of stuff, just, just like This Is Us, so I can, like, you know, listen to as I'm going to bed or relaxing in my room and stuff. And this is like, you know, the musical score to the movie. This is actually one, one of my favorite movies of, uh, uh, what's, his name? what's his name again? Uh, Hugh Grant, one of my favorite Hugh Grant movies. And the soundtrack was only a dollar. I'm like, okay. And uh, this other one I got, uh, I just got for the hell of it because I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys why. Uh, I picked up Home for the Holidays, uh, the soundtrack right here. This one was $1.99. And it has like this sticker inside there. It's like not on the cover itself, like on the... The slip, the, you know, the little insert card, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. That's the Home, home for the Holiday soundtrack. And I also had to pick up this one, No Retreat, No Surrender, uh, the soundtrack right here to that one. is the outer print thing right here. I just got it for the hell of it. What the hell. And I got these other, like, some DVDs and uh, uh, Blu-rays right here, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, one of them... I probably don't need, but I did. I did love the original uh, movie that came out with Burt Reynolds back in the day, and it was only four ninety nine. It was like fifteen when it first came out, and it's still brand new. And that is Cop and a Half, the second one. What am I doing with this? I don't know. You know. Okay, don't 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 judge me. No, you can judge me. Whatever. Uh, and some of these other ones I got, like this one right here, I got because I got the soundtrack to it, and uh, I got the. The Blu-ray of Home for the Holidays. This is the holiday movie I always really liked, and I'm like, got the soundtrack and the new release Blu-ray from uh, Scream Factory. I'm like, okay, cool, was like you know, whatever. Picked it up for the hell of it. And uh, these other two right here are st stand-up comedy specials, which I have never seen yet. Uh, it's a new, I think it's a new one. Rosie O'Donnell heartfelt stand-up. I always like Rosie O'Donnell ever since like you know Harriet the Spy and Now and Then and stuff. So, and I love stand-up comedy. And this is her new stand-up one. I think it's like a a burn on demand one. It's just like DVD-R or something on here. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll add that to my stand-up collection. And the other one I got was uh, Lisa Lampanelli's new one, uh, Back to the Drawing Board, uh, here on a uh, DVD. She's always a uh, she's always been one of my uh, favorite com 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 comedians uh, out there. So I'm, I, I grabbed that one right here. And the last thing I picked up over at Amoeba Records was something I was just happy to happy to get on Blu-ray. I'm like, oh, it is on Blu-ray. This is kind of cool. I think I might have known about it, but then I forgot about it kind of thing. It was, it was 1999, but I, I still got to get it because I love these things. They relax me when I watch them. Yeah, this is the original Endless Summer uh, here on Blu-ray. I don't know if there's really any special features on it, like anything new or anything. I can't really tell by looking at the back, but it's a new you know, 1080p transfer, transfer of the film. And I'm like, I got to get this, man. I have all the other Endless Summer ones on DVD. And uh, I don't know I love Dana Brown and his commentary you know, over... Uh, this whole the whole movie and the whole movie and the franchise and stuff. It's just really kind of really kind of cool and relaxing. I always love this thing. But watching it on Blu-ray would just be you know even that much better. But guys, that's all I picked up today uh, for this hoarding up video. I obviously didn't get uh, Birth of a Dragon, which I'm hoping you know uh, is on sale on Black Friday later on this week. But this is all I hoarded up on today for this video right here. Let's go on upstairs for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Mom, take it away. Hi, just have one thing for you today. It's, of course, my episodic television that I love. This one is from Via Vision, and it's the TV show, actually all six seasons and 27 discs worth of the show I used to watch called Crossing Jordan. And it stars Jill Hennessy and Ken Howard, 
who you some of you may remember way back when was one of the stars of the great TV show White Shadow. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I say, it stars Jill Hennessy and Ken Howard, who plays her father. Uh, she is a chief coroner for Boston, Massachusetts. So whenever she gets a body that she suspects something's not quite right, she goes to the police force, you know, to demand, you know, a murder investigation. And she and her dad, played by Ken Howard, uh, eventually she come, you know, she can't figure out how the crime happened. So she and her dad always play a game whether uh, where one of them is the victim and the other one is the murderer and they try to figure out how the situation happened. Um, it's really kind of cool if you guys like, you know, uh, cop shows or detective shows, basically speaking. Uh, like I say, it's all six seasons, 27 discs, discs worth, and I'm <laughs> part of the way through season one. Can't wait to watch the rest of it. <laughs> and it also has on each disc um, deleted scenes and co uh, select episode commentaries. So you get quite a package here. I pick it up. Thanks for stopping by. All right, everyone, now on to my review portion of this uh, hoarding up video here. I got a nice little stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about. And the first two up over here um, are also from Via Vision, uh, the same company that uh, sent my mom uh, the Crossing Jordan DVD set. And the one I have to talk to you guys about right here is a, 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 a TV series that I really liked watching growing up. I forgot exactly uh, what channel it was on. I think it might have been like Fox or Fox Family, or something like that. And that is Weird Science, the complete series here on DVD. Uh, this is the, the series uh, based off the John Hughes uh, movie of the same name, but, you know, pretty much about these two kids named uh, Gary and Wyatt, uh, who, you know, who, who are nerds in school. They're really unpopular. They, you know, they get, they get picked on, they get bullied, they have crushes on, you know, girls in their school. And there's like, you know... What what are we supposed to do? What, how are we supposed to get girls? How are we supposed to become popular? And uh, one night they're like, you know what? We gotta create the perfect woman. So they're messing around on their computers, trying to figure out, you know, how they can, you know, how they can create a, the perfect woman. And then a lightning bolt strikes their house. Things go awry in the middle of them trying to create the perfect woman on their computer. And uh, guess what happens? A beautiful uh, genius. Uh, lady appears uh, out, of, out of nowhere and, you know, starts giving them advice and starts to grant wishes uh, that they ask her. You know, like, you know, make us popular, make, make, make the girls that we like, like us, or help us make all this money, or, you know, help, you know, each, each episode is its own little uh, story, and it's just a really fun show. I've always really liked the John Hughes movie with Anthony Michael Hall, one of my favorites. Of course, Breakfast Club being my absolute favorite. But this is the first time you can get all five seasons of Weird Science, the TV show, and uh, one box set together, because uh, it was called years ago, Shout Factory put out only seasons one and two in a box set. But now I was like, was that all the seasons they had? I'm like, no, there had to have been more. And, but you get, you know, you get all five seasons here, uh, you know, in the, each little keep case. And everything like that. Really, really super cool uh, that you can finally get the complete series out now, uh, you know, here on DVD. Uh, I forgot how many episodes it is, but it's over 54 hours of uh, pure weird science entertainment here. And if you guys want to get a copy of this of your own, there'll be a link to the ViaVision uh, website, in, in, you know, in the, in the description box of this video next to the weird science name. So if you guys want to grab one of your own or Crossing Jordan, definitely check out the link down below. Support their websites. It's really super cool to get the complete series out now uh, on DVD. I'm just so happy about that. And next up over here from ViaVision also is another is, is a series of movies. The first one... Uh, is have happens to be my favorite of the three, but it's just kind of cool because I wasn't expecting to see a, a trilogy pack of this come out on Blu-ray, and that is the Urban Legend movies uh, here on Blu-ray from Via Vision. Of course, you get Urban Legend, you get Urban Legends Final Cut, uh, and you know, of course you get Urban Legends Bloody Mer Bloody Mary, which I don't really remember that one. Uh, that much at all, to be honest. But you open this pack up right here, and each movie has its own little. It's, it's in its own little disc and everything like that. So it's just you know, it's kind of cool. And of course, you get your special features on there, like the making of featurettes on the first feature featurette on the first one with commentary. And of course, you get a couple of you know commentaries on the other uh, other uh, other Blu-rays too for the movies. 
But if you don't know about the Urban Legend movies, uh, about the Urban Legend movie, the first one, uh, that which stars, you know, um, what's her name? It was, what's her name again? Uh, Tara Reid and uh, Joshua Jackson from like, you know, um, Dawson's Creek and stuff and Robert England. And uh, it's pretty much about this... Uh, college campus, uh, that's, you know, all, all these murders are happening right now, and they're like, what's going on? Because 25 years earlier, these, you know, there's a big massacre uh, at, at this college, and now the murders that are happening now, uh, 25 years later, uh, seems like they're, it's happening again, but the person that's committing these murders are doing it in urban legend style, you know what I mean? And like people, people are starting to get freaked out. And like, there's people in school going, you know, should we make, should I, should I, you know, eat some pop rocks and drink some soda and stuff like that at the same time? Am I gonna die if I do that? And you know, like different things. People are dying in weird, different, you know, urban legend ways. And I see, it was just a cool, fresh you know, refreshing uh, horror movie of the time. Like, this is this is back from the time when, like, you know, I know the last summer and, you know, Scream and the, all that stuff was coming out in the, like, the, you know, late 90s, or, you know, early 2000s. And uh, th those kind of horror movies I really kind of dig. They're, but there's some that are not, you know, the greatest. But the first Urban Legend movie, uh, I was just really happy to find out that there was, like, a pack. You know, you get all three of them. And now I can actually watch the third one on Blu-ray. Because I, I, I think I've only ever watched that one once. I don't, like, remember that one whatsoever. But the first one on the second one looked really nice here on Blu-ray. And if you're a fan of the Urban Legend movies, I just want to let you guys all know that you can get them all uh, in one pack together from the Via Vision, uh, you know, website. Make sure you guys check out the link down below, like I said. And that's uh, Urban Legend, the trilogy here on Blu-ray. Super cool to get that one here to talk to you guys about today. And the next up over here, um, I got from uh, Warner brothers for free to review to talk to you guys about today for promo you know pr promotional purposes uh these ones right here are uh the harry potter sorcerer the sorcerer's stone harry potter and the chamber of secrets uh here on 4k also harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and harry potter and the goblet of fire here all now on 4k uh you guys all know a couple like a month or two ago uh, uh warner brothers also put out the 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 last four uh harry potter movies on 4k now they're releasing the first four uh films on 4k i don't know why they did that in that order to be honest but uh i i've only ever really watched the harry potters like maybe once in my life uh to be honest with you and on on dvd but now watching them on 4k just they, they just look really super good, you know, with the this, this, this different special effects that the the movies have in there, with like you know the the magic, the mystery, you know, all, all that jazz. And this looks really good here on Blu-ray with the HDR high dynamic range. The color palette is actually really uh, nice in here, it has really deep blacks and really vibrant colors. So if you're a fan of the Harry Potter movies, there's even a box set now uh, where you can get all all the Harry Potter's movies in one big set together. But I just want to let you guys all know that you. Can get these uh, new Harry Potter movies out now on 4K, and um, almost all the almost all these movies have the theatrical and extended editions um, of the films, you know, on, on in these sets right here. For the exception of uh, Goblet of Fire and uh, what was the other one that didn't have it? Uh, Goblet of Fire and Prisoner of Azkaban. The other two uh, have both versions of the films on here. But I just want to let you guys all know that they're out now on 4K and. Uh, Thank you, Warner Brothers, for sending these over here to, to let me talk to you guys about. And uh, next up over here from Summit Entertainment and Lionsgate uh, is a film starring Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, and that is The Hitman's Bodyguard uh, here on 4K. And, uh, man, I've I, I, I always, I always been a big fan of uh, Ryan Reynolds as ever since uh, with the movie Waiting back in the day. I always thought he was just a super funny, uh, talented guy. Uh, and in this film, he plays a, a hitman, uh, you know, that's going out there on jobs, you know, you know trying to... You know, save his clients and stuff until uh, one day he he really messes up. You know, and it doesn't you know save somebody, and uh, you know one of his clients gets killed. So he he gets kind of scaled back. Uh, you know, in, in his hitman game, and he's just start, kind of just taking odd jobs and stuff now. But yet, you know, he's just trying to figure out what you know what to do. And one day he gets a call from like an ex girlfriend of his saying, "Hey, I need your help." You know, I'm kind of stranded here. I really, I really need you to come. You know, come and you know bail me out of this problem that I have right now because I have this, you know, killer on the that killer right now that I have in my possession. That you know, but like I don't know what to do because all this stuff is is popping off. So Ryan Reynolds goes down there, and that 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 you know the weird killer guy is played by uh, Samuel Jackson, and uh, he goes down there to you know try to help his you know his friend out and you know 
transport, you know, Samuel Jackson to where he needs to be kind of thing. And all, all hell breaks loose and he finds out that the character that Samuel Jackson is, is an old, you know, person that he's, he was been trying to get for years and all that kind of stuff. And them having to, you know, fight bad guys together. It's just, it was actually, you know, really kind of funny and in moments. Uh, but after a while, like midway through the movie, I was getting kind of bored with it. I don't know what it, I don't know what it was, but I do, I do like the chemistry between the two and I do like both the actors, but I just don't think the movie was executed as well as it could have been, uh, in my opinion here. I, I thought it was, I thought it was a, de a decent watch, but for some reason I thought it could, just could have been a, a little bit better. It did look fantastic here, uh, on 4K, of course it would, because it's a newer movie and newer movies these days just look, you know, better and better, uh, you know, as the format, you know, progresses and things like that. But this film, this Blu-ray right here in 4K have, uh, Outtakes, deleted scenes, you know, uh, you also get a director's commentary track and a, a behind the scenes feature, right? But if you're if you're a fan of these these actors, you guys might get a kick out of this movie, but it just wasn't as good as I thought it, it could have been, in my opinion here. But that's the Hitman's Bodyguard here on 4K. And uh, next up over here is another 4K movie from Lionsgate. and stars, uh, oh, what's, what's it called again? Uh, ooh, yeah, Michael Keaton, baby. Beetlejuice. 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 Uh-oh, something's gonna happen. I'm just kidding. And also Batman. And that is American Assassin here on uh, 4K and Blu-ray. Uh, this one right here is about this young man uh, played by, uh, what's his name again? Dylan O'Brien, uh, who suffers a, tra a tragedy at the beginning of this movie and wants to get revenge, uh, you know, on, on, on these terrorists that... On, on these terrorists that, you know, did this to him, and uh, at the towards the beginning of this movie, the CIA, you know, get, gets an eye on him and says, hey, you want to work for us and, you know, work undercover and try to get, a, you know, try to, you want to become an assassin and stuff, and, you know, kind of thing, and he he, be he becomes one, and he, you know, gets sort of trained uh, by, uh, his name, uh, Michael Keaton, and Michael Keaton's a, a crazy over-the-top character in this, at least in some of the scenes, and it says, you know, him and... I don't know how to say anything else without ruining the movie for you, but it was cheesy, cheesy action fun. You know what I mean? Like, the first half of this movie, the first, like, 30, 40 minutes of this movie was, like, really super cool. And then it just got super over the top and kind of weird. But, like, I, I still kind of dug it for what it was. You know what I mean? Especially seeing Michael Keaton. Just anything Michael Keaton is pure gold to me. You know what I mean? Like, Michael Keaton can do no wrong. Come on, man. Multiplicity? You know, that was kind of weird, too. But I, I like that one anyway. But, uh, yeah, if you, this one sounds interesting to you and you like Michael Keaton, I, I suggest checking it out if you guys can rent it at a red box or something like that. Uh, but this Blu-ray has a making of feature, a couple of making of featurettes and Alamo Drafthouse Q&A with some of, the, some of the cast and crew and they're talking about the making of the movie, which I thought was kind of a cool feature. I always like, you know, Q&As and stuff because you guys know I go to Hollywood and different events when they're you know, actually Actors and producers, directors go and talk about their movies and stuff. I always like that kind of stuff. But that's American Assassin here on uh, 4K and Blu-ray. Looks absolutely amazing on this format. All right, everyone. And last but not least, over here from Sony Home Entertainment is uh, Jumanji here on Blu-ray. This is the second time uh, this film has been released on Blu-ray. It's also being released uh, on 4K, but I didn't get a 4K uh, copy to review. I got the new Blu-ray here. And you guys all know this uh, classic Robin Williams movie. Uh, it's pretty much about these people uh, playing this mystic board board game and being transported, uh, you know, into like a different land and uh, Robin Williams' character does. And that's all about these new kids uh, decades later that come across this game, you know, in this old house and play the game and, uh, you know, find out Robin Williams has been trapped in this game all this time and they have to keep playing this game to find out how to, you know, get out of this craziness that's happening because they are any roll of the dice anything can happen they can roll the dice and like you know monkeys would come out of the walls and rhinos would come running through their houses and you know different crazy stuff would happen and uh it's just a really fun over-the-top movie which spanned um like a weird spin-off movie which i still kind of like called zathura which was directed by john favreau but, like, I always like this Jumanji one better, but this one's coming out in celebration uh, of the new uh, Jumanji movie coming out starring Kevin Hart and The Rock and everything like that. And this wasn't this Blu-ray right here does look does look beautiful, but it does have uh, two new spe or three new special features on it. Uh, this one you get a five-minute uh, what's it called uh, 
gag reel on here with Robin Williams and the cast that weren't, wasn't on the previous editions um, of Jumanji here, which was kind of really funny with seeing, you know, Robin Williams ad-libbing, uh, you know, different lines and stuff that I thought was really kind of funny. And you also get some uh, delete, two deleted scenes on here, which were kind of just whatever, uh, in my opinion, one of, the, one of the deleted scenes makes me go, wait, how does that... How did that work in the movie again? Because like kid, you know, you know, Rob Williams and the kids from the movie, uh, Rob Williams is giving them presents, and they open up, a, they open up a present, and they find out it's like Jumanji shoes. I'm like, what? You know, it was it was really weird. If you guys see the deleted scene, you'll be like, I don't understand how that would work in the movie. Uh, to be honest, but uh, but also on here, you get like a little three minute uh, sneak peek at the new Jumanji movie, Welcome to the Jungle or whatever it's called, the Jumanji, yeah. I think it's called Jumanji Welcome. Yeah, well, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, where the Rock and the cast members talk about the making of the movie and how you know how 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 cool it, how cool it is for them to be making a sort of a sequel to Jumanji. I can't wait to see that one. To be honest, I think that one's gonna be a lot of fun. But I just wanted to let you guys all know that there's a new version of Jumanji out now on Blu-ray and it's being released on 4K. So if you guys see it out there and you love the movie. Definitely check it out, man. But guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today for this uh, Blu-ray uh, portion of this video. And I'll see you guys all for Black Friday. Are you guys ready for the Black Friday video? Bam! Hit this thumbs up if you guys are ready for some Black Friday. Goodness, man. I'll see you guys all later.